October 20th. Your vision awaits an appointed time. The prophet Habakkuk asked God, How long, O Lord, must I call for help, but you do not listen? Habakkuk 1 2. He was referring to all the problems and difficulties that were taking place in his nation. There was disorder, corruption, and murder. The Lord's answer to him was this. Write down the revelation and make it plain on tablets so that a herald may run with it. For the revelation awaits an appointed time, it speaks of the end and will not prove false. Though it linger, wait for it, it will certainly come and will not delay, but the righteous will live by his faith. Habakkuk 2 2-4 The vision that you have received awaits an appointed time. This is where walking by faith and not by sight comes in. You must believe in what God has told you because it won't happen overnight. Again, it will occur through a process of character development, which will come as you live by faith and inner vision, not by what you see. You may not face a life or death situation, as some of God's people have, but you will have challenges and difficulties in one degree or another as you move toward the fulfillment of your vision. That is why I want you to be aware of the process of vision and be prepared for it. I don't want you to give up on your vision prematurely. God will continually fulfill a little more of your dream until it comes to pass. It will culminate in his timing. Lamentations 3.26 says, It is good to wait quietly for the salvation of the Lord. Prayer, Father, it is sometimes so hard to wait, especially in these days when the world seems to move so fast around me. May your word continue to encourage me to wait on you with faith and joyful expectation. In Jesus' name, Amen. Thought, don't give up on your dream prematurely. Reading, Isaiah 59-61, 2 Thessalonians 3.